Infection control, preventing the spread of germs. Wash your hands. Proper hand washing is the single most important procedure individuals can take for preventing the spread of germs. Proper hand washing removes most germs from the skin. Wash hands frequently with soap and warm water by scrubbing for at least 20 seconds, being sure to get in between the fingers and under the fingernails. Dry hands thoroughly. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer when soap and water are unavailable. Cover your cough and sneeze. Cover coughs and sneezes with tissue and put used tissue in a waste basket. If you don't have a tissue, cough or sneeze into your upper sleeve or the crook of your arm, not into your hands. Wash your hands after coughing or sneezing. Keep hands away. Keep your hands away from your eyes, nose, and mouth to prevent germs from entering your body. Germs can enter your body through your eyes, nose, mouth, genitals, and skin. Stay home. If you are sick, stay home. Staying home prevents the spread of germs to your schoolmates or coworkers, to your sports team or school band, or to anyone else outside the household. If family members are sick, tell them they should stay home. Wear a mask. Wear a mask as directed by health officials to protect yourself and others. Wearing a mask during a pandemic is considered one of the most important behaviors to help slow the spread of germs. Vaccinate. Unlike most medicines, which treat or cure diseases, vaccines prevent them. Vaccines have prevented countless cases of infectious diseases and saved millions of lives. Vaccines are safe and effective by stimulating the immune system. Vaccines contain the same antigens or parts of antigens that cause diseases. However, the antigens in vaccines are either killed or greatly weakened. Vaccine antigens are not strong enough to cause disease, but they are strong enough to make the immune system produce antibodies against them. Vaccination primes the immune system to remember a particular disease agent or antigen by allowing it to practice on a weakened or killed version of the germ. If the germ enters the body again in full strength, the immune system is ready to respond with a swift and specific defense. This response results in the creation of more antibodies to fight the germ and more memory cells to fight in the future. Vaccines are available for many diseases, including chickenpox, influenza, measles, polio, smallpox, typhoid, whooping cough, and many others. Once a reliable vaccine is available for COVID-19, it will be important to follow the public health guidelines and get vaccinated. Herd immunity. When a contagious disease enters an unvaccinated group, many members can become infected because they lack immunity against the disease. When a large percentage of the population is unvaccinated, the spread of disease is limited. This indirectly protects those who have not been vaccinated and those who can't be vaccinated, such as infants under six months old. For some diseases, Herd immunity may take effect with as little as 40% of the population vaccinated. However, vaccination rates typically need to be as high as 80% to 90% to achieve herd immunity. This percentage is called herd immunity threshold. Pandemic. During the COVID-19 pandemic, vaccines were not made immediately available and medications to treat the disease were in short supply. Without these powerful pharmaceutical tools at their disposal, health officials had to call for other measures to reduce transmission and slow the spread of disease in the community. Community Strategies 
Social distancing helps prevent the spread of disease by limiting direct contact between people in public settings. Social distancing may be as simple as staying at least six feet away from others when out in public. Sanitizing surfaces that people come in contact with helps to prevent the spread of germs. Wearing a mask helps to slow the germs of an infected person. Sheltering at home helps to limit the spread of disease and lessen contact with infected people or surfaces. It may mean working from home and only going out for essential purposes. Quarantine means restricting the activities of a person who is sick or has likely been exposed to a communicable disease. Summary Infection control means preventing the spread of disease. Many different strategies are needed. Hand washing is one of the most important personal strategies.